What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to get started with C++ in Unreal Engine 5. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and create a new C++ sprite. So uh, today I'm gonna be using the 5.1, so if you want to use the same Unreal Engine version, you of course can. Of course, you can use another Unreal Engine 5 version like 5.03, 5.02, but I recommend using the latest one, which is 5.1. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and create a new um, third person uh, template. It's gonna be on C, remember that. Uh, we're gonna leave everything as default with the start content and stuff, and then we can just plug the name. It's gonna be like C um, underscore tutorial, okay? And now let's go ahead and create this uh, pride. Okay, so now that the pride is open, you will see that the um, Unreal Engine editor has opened, and also we have Visual Studio Community, which is just uh, also opened with the pride. So let's get now start. Now there's a thing that I want to clarify. Uh, first of all, um, before we start, so a lot of people has this question: is you know they have to uh, completely make the game in C++ or in Blueprint. Well, there's a simple answer to that. You have to basically use the combination of both C++ and Blueprints in order to create the most efficient systems and workflow for a game. Basically, you will have to use both, okay? Uh, you will need to code some systems in C++, and then you will basically call them in your Blueprints and etc. So, it's hard at the start to know, you know in which system you have to make in this blah, blah, and which system you have to make in Blueprints, but as you go and make more things, it will be easier for you. But anyway, let's continue with the tutorial now that we have clarified that. So now to create a new uh, C++ class, what we do is go into Tools, New C++ Class. Now we have uh, different templates that we can use, for example, the same as if we were to create a new Blueprint class. So in my games, I'm gonna choose a character, I'm gonna say Next, and then we can just put a name. Now for me, I would just say, for example, let's say um, Tutorial Character, okay? We can leave everything as default. We are not going to touch anything and just say uh, generic class. And there we go. As you know, Visual Studio will go ahead and open. Of course, you have to have installed Visual Studio Community uh, with the latest version with the C++ uh, code implemented, etc. Now, a thing that I want to also clarify about um, this tutorial is that this, this is not a C++ tutorial. I will not be teaching that. This is just a way to implement C++ into Unreal Engine and you know do a simple example of just spawning an actor in the scene on C++ calling it from Blueprint. So this is not a C++ coding tutorial, no, this is very simple. This is just of how to make a simple uh, system in C++ and integrate it into Blueprints so you know a bit how uh, the implementation works. So first of all, you will see that we have two files. We have a C++ file and we have a header file. Now the C++ file will be uh, basically where we actual implement of the code of the functions and the variables, basically all the functionality. And the header file is where we're gonna go ahead and create and declare all the functions and variables. So in this example, this tutorial, what we're gonna do is basically then when you press a key, it will spawn a certain actor just in front of the character. Uh, we do all the functionality from C++ and then call it from Blueprints later on. So the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and create a new function. So for this, we're going to go into the header, as is the place that we create and uh, declare functions and variables. I'm going to go into the public section over here, I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to say void, and then we can just call this as we want. So in my case, it will be like spawn actor. Okay, now we go ahead and there we go. Now the thing is that we have to put a certain um, tag um, on top of all our variables and functions in Unreal Engine. So this will be a new function, and then we can open, and we can have different options. Now in our case, we want to be able to call this function from Blueprint. So in our case, we just pass the parameter of Blueprint callable. Now you may have noticed that it isn't auto-completing out um, all the the names and stuff. This is because the Visual Studio IntelliSense doesn't really work correctly with C++ and Unreal Engine. 
so what you have to do is basically um get a plugin that will base basically do all the auto completion to you now i'll be linking two good ones in the description that they're used by all professionals in the unreal engine c community and basically it will help you a lot now they have a free trial and then you have to pay them but they're really good if you want to get serious about c in unreal engine anyway to, today i'm just gonna do without any auto completion but it's okay because you're with me so i'm gonna be explaining everything so now we can pass in a second parameter which is gonna be basically category so we can have things more organized when later on we call them from the blueprints and it's gonna be for example abilities as i guess like you can have like a superpower it's gonna be like spawning actors you know uh, i don't know whatever you can put whatever name you want and i guess it's gonna be good and i indented this is nice and organized and there we go we can now go ahead and save this file so now, we, well, now we're going to go into the c file and actually implement all of this code so we're gonna go down over here and what we're going to do is say void and now we have to pass the class name which in my case was tutorial character character there we go and now the thing is that we have to pass an a in front of the class name in order to symbolize which is an actor and then we have to do it so uh, double to the column then say spawn actor which is basically the name of our function so basically have to reference the actor class name basically with an a at the front and then the uh function name and then you can put this and then open the keys and then we go you can now start typing inside of it and putting all the functionality so in this example like i mentioned before i want to be able to spawn any actor in a certain position when i press the key so what i want to do is i get weld and now this is going to be a, a very handy um place to get a lot of things and all the functionality in unreal engine so it, we have this spawn actor and then we can just pass the type which we want which in a case will be an a actor okay now close this sorry about the c over here there you go a actor and then we can open parentheses and pass all the parameters that we need so in our case we have to pass first of all and a specific the specific blueprint or actor that we want to spawn now for this what we're going to do is create another variable so i'm going to go back into the header class and go down over here and we're going to create a new variable now what we can do is just say a actor and then put here actor bp to spawn for example name it like this now the thing is that um unreal engine uh and c plus plus doesn't really recognize very well like uh the content browser um files and basically all the blueprints and actors that they're there so what we have to do is pass another um here and the parameter will be a subclass of open keys and then close the and then this will be a t subclass sorry there we go of a actor and then we pass the name now we have to do one more thing which is pass another uh, tag on top of it so in a function was basically you function button here is you property let's so go ahead and pass this and now we'll go ahead and open the parentheses and now we can plus uh sorry plug in uh, another thing which is edit anywhere so this will basically uh, allow us to just call it from whatever place we want in our blueprint gonna go ahead and indent this so it's nice and organized we can just save it so now we can go ahead and call this uh actor bp to spawn from our um our code so now we'll basically spawn that variable and now what we can do is just pass a transform basically a location or a position that we want our um, actors to spawn so in our case we're going to say is just get actor transform so it will basically spawn it right in our player's face <laughs> and then what we want to do is just pass some parameters so in order to this what we have to do is create some local variables so we f actor uh, spawn parameters and it's going to be like the spawn params for example and then we need to set these spawn params to a certain thing so we want to uh, basically change its collision um settings so it's going to be spawn collision uh handling override Here we go sometimes it is already completed sometimes not that's why the intel cells with unreal engine doesn't really work very well and then we just pass the e spawn actor collision handling method there we go it's now auto completing 
and now we can have different options so adjust if possible but always spawn etc always spawn etc so in my case i'm gonna say adjust if possible but always spawn so there we go and now we can put a semicolon to add in the line and now we can pass these we go the spawn params on here there we go now we can go ahead and close this over here now you will see that sometimes it gives errors well this is another problem with C++ and Unreal Engine with Intel cells, it will sometimes give you errors even though the code is actually correct. So don't worry if there's errors, sometimes it is an actual error <laughs> you're using the normal Intel cells on Unreal Engine. And this is studio, sorry. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save all of our files and minimize and go back into Unreal Engine. Now you will see that this um, window popped up, which is the uh, C++ live coding. Now this is just a way to compile very fast in Unreal Engine 5. Now just close it, and if you don't see that um, at all, when you can just go back down here and say, and click on this, and it will basically start compiling all of your code. So now you will just wait a few seconds. Now depending on which drive you have it, it will go faster or slower, but just have some you know uh, space on it, and then just wait a few seconds. A note that I'm gonna put it on here is that if you only touch the C++ file, it will actually go faster. But if you touch the C the header file, it will go slower because it has to compile other header files and stuff. Anyway, you can see that now it has successfully um, compiled without any errors. Okay, so now what we can do is go ahead and um, place our character in the scene. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. We can just go ahead and right click and create a new blueprint class. Then we can go into all classes and search the class that we created. So it will be tutorial character. Now there will be two. Uh, it's the second one over here. I don't know why this part already had one. But anyway, I think it just yeah, it was a content example or something like that. So we can just select it. BP and it's called tutorial. We can now open it up. And now you will see that first of all, in class depots, we have the variable that we created. And now in the event graph, we can just right click and go into a spawn actor. And you will see under the category abilities, as we already said. And another way of doing this is that we can actually go ahead and reparent into another, uh, you know, whatever other character we have over here. But I'm going to go ahead and continue. So I'm going to say that when we press the left mouse button, we're going to go ahead and spawn our actor under abilities, remember? And then we just put over here this. And then in the class defaults, we can search for whatever actor we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just create a new blueprint class. It's gonna be type actor, BP actor. <laughs> okay, go ahead and open it. I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a simple um, cube, which is gonna be the scene root. And it will just have some physics so it can basically go ahead and fall. We can now close it. And now we can just call it from here. So we'll basically spawn this actor each time that we. Uh, press it now. I'm gonna quickly apply a mesh into this so queen There we go and then queen Simple and then let me just go ahead and Reposition this there we go. Okay Now I press play uh, We'll still need a camera. Sorry. So quickly go here add a camera There we go and then a, a boom camera boom Oh, they, they changed the name, right? It's no longer camera bull. It's a spring arm. There we go. This will be the other way around. The camera will be child spring arm. And there we go. Okay, so now we have a character here. Uh, oh, we have to also set it here. So we have to create a new game mode. Quickly just do this. So open class, uh, game mode, GM, for example, open it up. So the default pawn class, it will be BP tutorial. Compile and close it. We can go back into all settings. It's gonna be GM. Now we have press play. There we go. We have our characters. Now, if I were to uh, left click, you will see that we have the spawn, the the cube actually spawning. Really cool, guys. We are actually spawning from uh, C++, which is really really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just change this a bit. Okay, so we can basically see a bit better. Um. Okay, there we go. I know that I don't have the controls, but anyway, you can see how when I left click, it's actually spawning the uh, the cubes and stuff in its position. 
So you can see in the C++, we're doing exactly that. We are spawning the variable that is set on the blueprint in a certain transform. There will be basically this transform, the get actual transform. And then we have the parameters over here, which is just um, things that were uh, will be automatically done in blueprints. We have to also do them in C++ because, well, it's just how it is. Now, for example, we could make a new variable for the uh, actor transform. So let's quickly do that. We can go into the header and just copy the uh, anywhere tag. And then we can just go here and just create an F um, transform. And then it's going to be, I don't know, spawn pause, for example. And then we can just save this. We can go into the C++. We can just change this into spawn pause and then save it and then go back into real. Now we can go ahead and click this to basically compile all of the code and just wait a few seconds. There we go. It has completely um, successfully compiled of the blueprint. So now we can go into the BB tutorial. We can go into class defaults and you will see the transform variable over here. So now we can basically apply it into whatever we want. So, for example, we're going to say it's going to be on the uh, 0, 0, 0 of the world, but on like 50 of height. Go ahead and spawn. So you can see that it's actually creating new actors over here. It spawned them, but they're being destroyed immediately. I think that they're too high or something like that. Um, it's put like 10. And then I don't know which position is, for example, this. Say, for example, 1,000 uh, and 200. Sorry. 120, not 100, 1,200, and then 1,400, and then 10 of up. Okay, so now it should spawn around there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna see the cubes being uh, spawned over here. So that's extremely cool, as you can see. Um, so yeah, you can basically play with the settings and do whatever you want. So I'm gonna be wrapping this video up. This just was a quick introduction to C++ and how you can integrate them into Blueprint and into Unreal Engine 5. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials on this one, so uh, just go ahead and check them out. With all that said, if you want to see more videos uh, about this um, or any other videos, uh, let me know in the comments. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.